right, guys, we getting ready to start the show. Uh, Abe will be, he, he's on his way. He'll be here probably like five to ten minutes. Hope everybody has enjoyed their work week so far. It's almost over. This is hump day in the middle of the week. So everybody be safe. Be careful. If you're getting off of work, please get home safe. If you're going into work or already at work, hopefully um, you'll be safe and be careful, especially if you live in the city. Man, it's dangerous out here, man. It's, it's getting pretty, pretty bad. But as soon as Abe get here, he should be here any moment. We're going to get ready and start this, uh, start this show up. He will be here soon. Again, in probably another five to ten minutes. Hopefully, everybody is having a good day so far. I know everybody has been looking at the ballots come in. Uh, two weeks down, about four weeks to go. Hopefully, by the end of the day, we should have over a hundred thousand ballots returned. I'm hoping only ninety-six thousand so far. And we're going to talk about how can we improve these numbers. We got we got to improve them. Uh, Ninety six thousand in two weeks is is not is 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 is, is uh it's not good. I'll say that it's not good at all. Somehow, somewhere we gotta we gotta get those numbers up. Today we're going to be talking about that. Uh, if if you have voted already, uh, please please. Talk to at least five other people about voting. If you have voted already, please talk to at least five other people about voting. Get them to vote. Um, listen, we, we got to get our people to vote, man. Uh, this is very, very important. It's serious. It's, it's heartbreaking to see the numbers. But and, and one of the things I'm wondering, man, is... Oh my goodness! One of the things, one of the things that I I am concerned about is why didn't the IBT go back to the um, phone voting? Okay, all right. Um, I'm I'm wondering why we didn't go back to the you know electronic voting like we did for our contract. You know, a lot of our um, Younger members are always on their phone. They're not going to check their mail. They're not going to do any of that. But I'm, I'm wondering why we didn't go back to that format of electronic voting. You know what I mean? Uh, I know that the voting would have increased. I don't know if we would have uh, broken any records or anything, but I know we would have gotten more participation. You know, when you talk to young people now, they're like, man, I don't even look at my mail. Some of the, the older members don't look at their mail either. And you got to constantly remind them. And some of them, the mail goes to another another place, you know, either their their mom house or their boy or girlfriend house. And they're not even going to go get the mail. And so I'm wondering why the IBT did not use the, the electronic format to get more of our people to vote. Um, we always on our phone anyway. So, you know. But there's nothing we can do about that now. The ballots are out. You know, we got to vote. We have got to vote. Um, I, I hear the complaints about this person and that person. But it's not about them. It's about making sure we send a message to the employer. What's up, Abe? Everybody. So, introduce yourself again hey. for those that don't know you. Long time Teamster member. How, long, how many years? 22. 22. Uh, 23 in a little bit. Right. 23-year Teamster. Right. I appreciate you guys uh, waiting for me for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Let's get the show started. So, 96,000 people voted right, so 96, far. 96,000. Two weeks. Rich, you know, there's some people confused. Can you explain to us what, what is the international and what is the local? Because a lot of people are wondering how come you're not on the ballot and Who's running against you and this and that? So there's is still some confusion as to All right. what so we're voting for. We're not voting for any local elections. That's not until uh, 
Except next for year. One local and so, there's a few. There's a few, there's a few locals, locals yeah, that yeah. that are actually having local elections, and this international election. Sixty-three is not one of those locals. Mm -hmm. The international election happens every five years. In those five years, you get an opportunity to vote to see who's going to be your leader for those five years. Um, the ballots went out for that. Again, this is not a local election. This is the international election. Um, as we talked about last week, about that confusion with, you know, Hooker, you know, I, I was told, I heard that you offered a position, didn't Did, work, you, all kind really? of stuff. So, Some people said that? Yes. He, and, and, yeah. yeah. We yeah, talked yeah. about it. Let me hear you go. I, I forgot. That's not, that's not the short -term case. Short-term memory. So to all our 63 well, What's members, not the case? That you were offered a position? Yes. And I wouldn't have took it if I was. Uh, you just, took it. You I, sure you weren't offered a position? I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Man, um, but that's before news, we that's news to me. <laughs> <laughs> but before we move on, before we move yeah. on, I want yeah. to the, the station give ID. a station identification yes. and everything like that. So thank you guys for tuning in to ninety two point nine South Philadelphia Community Radio, um, giving you another edition of the six two three. Uh, radio show. Uh, we appreciate everybody that's watching and tuning in. Uh, we hope that um, this can be a uh, a source of information, um, a source of um, reflection, um, just whatever whatever we can do to help people come to uh, a decision about who to vote for. Again, this is a nonpartisan show. Um, I think we've been keeping it nonpartisan. Yeah, we have. We have. We have. This is to get people to vote. That's the point. Th that's yeah. it. Um, vote for whoever you want to vote for. Mm. We're not here to dictate, to intimidate, to push you one way or mm. or the other. Or even solicit. Oh no! All, the only solicitation no, is to no, ask right. you to vote. Th yeah. That's that's all we need you to do is vote. Yeah. It is very very important. We have ninety six thousand teams that voted. So, so far, far, so far, out, out of, of one point four, almost one point five million, million teams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is heartbreaking. It, it's disheartening. But yeah. we're gonna hold our hope. We're yeah, yeah. We just hold them hard work. Right. You know, we still know. we still got four weeks left. Yeah. Um, but historically, yes, we gotta be truthful. Historically, in the first week or two, you're gonna get the most participation. Yeah, uh, I think with this time though, the mail's mail been late. That's true. That's people true. have some people have just gotten their ballots this week yeah. or over the weekend. Right. So don't hesitate in filling out your ballot. Please because, don't hesitate. Because I had a problem with my ballot. I had to call and get a second ballot. Because Tell them how that first, process worked, man. If you receive your ballot, okay, what you're gonna get is two envelopes to send back. One is your secret ballot envelope. When you vote. You have to place your ballot, when you fill it out, into the secret ballot envelope. Then put it into the return envelope. My problem was my return envelope was sealed. And on the back, if you look at it, it says if this is tampered with in any fashion, your, your ballot will be tossed out. So you got to be very careful. This is why you don't want to procrastinate. You want yeah. to vote now in case there's something. So if you have, if you had that that letter from the Teamsters, you, um, vote for, um, vote for. And I'm, I'm saying fun, but if you had the letter there, open it immediately in case there's a problem. Let's say you open it and your secret ballot envelope is missing, or your ballot itself is missing. You want the opportunity to catch a problem now. And call them. Rich, you know the number off the top of your head? Or if not, we'll get the number again. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I got it on my phone. Yeah, it's I like 844. 844, four, four, I'll give it to you in a second. Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to get the people the wrong number, right, but I know right. it's like 844 428 8636, something like that. I'll pull, I'll pull yeah. it up on my phone. But, but, yeah. the, but the point of it is, you have to vote. Yeah, you have to. And you have to vote now. Yeah. So that it gets there in time. And you have to vote now because in case you have a problem with your, your, your ballot. Once you receive your ballot, right, you can only, if you're in the Eastern Region, you can only vote for people who are running for the Eastern Region. Uh, vice President. Vice President, and, right? And, uh, 
VPs at large right. and the trustees. And the trustees. Yeah, whatever region you're in, yes. you're going you're gonna to get those names in right. your region right. on the ballot. Right. Here it is right here. It's 844-428-8683. That's 844-428-8683. Thank you for that. Who sent that out? Dean Dodge, appreciate you. Dean, we appreciate you. Say that. Can we say that number? 844 428 Eight six eight three. If you need a ballot, please. Yes. Or if you haven't received one by right. now, please call. Don't right. say, "Oh, I know it's going to be in the middle." If you have not received a ballot by please. now, please call please. so they can send out a, a second ballot. It it's is. all right if you get the first one. You know, you you can only vote once. Right, you can only you vote know, once. You can only vote once. So, but so I was talking before you came, and there's yes. something that that yeah. really we we may need to revisit. Moving forward, electronic and, voting. Electronic I voting. I, I wish they had done that this time around. I, 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 I believe I really did. Because if you yes. if you talk to a younger person, yes, they're on the phone all the time. On the phone all the time. Yeah, I heard that. The point. mail. You're, you're absolutely. The mail goes to their mom's house. Or yes. They go to their girlfriend's house. Yes. Go to their boyfriend's house. Yes. It's, well, I, I don't know, man. I, I, man, I ain't worrying about that. Listen, if it if it was electronic like it was with a contract, mm -hmm. I think we would have gotten more participation by now. I, I believe that. I, I love electronic voting. It's right there. You, you right use there. your phone all the time. All the you, time. You're able to to easily vote. That last electronic vote was very easy. It was. Indeed. It was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And, so, and and there so was a... And there was I was a, expecting that. I was too. Because I really was. We because got more participation. Yeah. And I hope in the future, whoever wins this election takes Please. that up. I think yeah. we need to make a constitution amendment already right now. Mm -hmm. If we can. All... all all voting yes. when it In comes future to con voting. future yeah. voters, contracts, yeah. elections, as far as IBT, has to be done electronically. You get more participation. Mm. Um, our younger people, they're always on the phone. That's something that we need to do. It's not like the IBT ain't getting the money to do it. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> so they they getting the money. I know they're getting the money from 623, and I can imagine they right. get it from everywhere else. Right. So right. spend some of that money, invest in electronic voting. No, no. We gotta, we gotta meet, be with the times. We gotta, again, gotta change the culture of the IBT. And it's not just about voting. It's, the, it's, it's, it's the small stuff. Electronic voting. That's important. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely That's right. That's important. These are the small things that we need to do. Right. To to move the union and move yes. the union movement forward. Yes. You know. Now. We're just talking about what the international. When I was in D.C., um, this is when Obama was the president, and we were trying to get car check. You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may know about that, you may not know. The face that was plastered everywhere that was an example of car check, right? Mm -hmm. What car check was, was, it was to make it easier for us to organize and to bring unionism and unions to places like Amazon that don't have a union, Walmart that doesn't have a union, right? But at the time, this is going back when Obama's first term, they wanted to pass something called EFCA. You know, it was it was card check. It was a, it was for us to make it easier to unionize shops. Unfortunately, the other side that was anti-union did an effective job, and they had Hoffa's face plastered everywhere, all on the buses and everything. You bought, you know, those wraps that you had. Yeah, you had to wrap the buses mm -hmm. everywhere you looked mm -hmm. in D.C. There was Hoffa's face. All right, on a bus, right to turn down car check. So the international's important in that reason is that they will negotiate your contract. That's what you vote on. Now there's a movement where people are so disenchanted with how things are, and they want to not vote. There's a not vote movement going on, or or sending your ballots empty. Or I'll tell you why I disagree with that. Because what we're voting on, my reasoning, is if you don't vote this time around, then when your union contract comes up, whichever local you are, whichever teamster you are, this, that's what you vote on. Because the people who are going into office now are going to negotiate your next contract over the next five years. So if you're saying you're not going to vote now, you're voting a no on your next contract. So if you don't vote now, so why should you vote on your next contract? Right? Right. And your next contract is going to determine your pension, your pay, and job rules. Right? You have certain unions like Kellogg. Those guys that work for Kellogg are out mm -hmm. because 
not necessarily the money. They've been working through this whole pandemic straight through. And one of the main things they want is a day off or two mm -hmm. to spend time with their family. So this is about the next pandemic. Let's be forward thinking. Proactive. And proactive Absolutely. about what's going to happen next time around. Absolutely. When you're voting now, you're being proactive towards your contract and the people who are going to set up the contract negotiating committee. That's yep. what you're voting on. Absolutely. You're voting on the money if you're saying... Well, we need more money. You voting on time off? It was a, I worked through this whole pandemic. They forced me to work seven days a week. You voting on that? You voting on the fact that you want to spend more time with your family? You voting on the fact that you want better work rules? Yep. Right? You don't want to stop supervisor has harassment? You voting on that? So that's why you voting this time around. So that's why I don't agree with people who are saying, "Well, I'm not going to vote because they forced the contract through the last time." You're going to vote on that. Yeah. Funny you said that. I was talking to a member. Been here longer than you and I. Yeah. And he said he's now voting. See that? And he said, well, Hooker, both these guys did this. Both these guys did that. He's right. He is. He's right. They, they talk about this this classification. Well, the guy, the owner, he's the architect. He's on that slate. And I said, man, I, li I, I get you. I understand. And I appreciate your concern. But let's send a message, a message to the employer. I get your frustrations with both sides. I, I get it. And I share some of those frustrations. But it's not going to stop me from voting. Because there's a bigger, bigger enemy here. There's a, biz, a bigger message that needs to be sent. And that is the Teamsters, the rank and file, the labor movement, the working man, the working woman, the working family, the middle class. We have had enough of the come along, get along uh, politicians. We've had enough of the bully boy companies. We had enough of the absentee leaders. Um, we had enough of the come along, get along, and we just had enough of it. The only way to send that message is by voting in these elections. 96,000 people voted in the first two weeks. That, that is a big problem, I'm not gonna lie. Disheartening. But I'm, I'm, I'm asking you guys today that's watching this, people are listening to 92.9 FM, I'm asking, I'm, I'm pleading that if you have voted already, talk to 10 people. Talk to 10 people that say, hey, did you get your ballot? Give them the number. Talk to them about voting. Talk to them the importance about voting. Have these conversations. Because I can tell you here at 623, we done had robo Calls approved. I got, I got one. You got one. Yeah, yes. Approved by the IBT. We, we're calling our people. We send mailers out. We we've done everything. Social media. This this radio station here, blast from Monday to Wednesday about voting. Then we do the show on Wednesday. Uh, listen, we're we're doing everything we can to get that message out. Um, it is important that the people vote. It is very. Very important. And I get the frustration. I talked to many, 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 many mm -hmm. teams here at 623. A lot of them are, are, are disgusted. They're disgusted about the candidates. And we and I tell them, I get it. I share some of those same frustrations. But we cannot let our frustrations stop us from voting. I talked to a driver yesterday at Oregon Avenue. And he broke it down to me playing this day. He said, Hooker, listen, I didn't like... Um, Trump and I didn't like Biden, but I voted. This is true. And this is the same thing here. You may you, not like. Wait, you uh, can't ask either one of us. We don't. We have problems with some of the people running. Yeah, right. We, we do. We we, we do. We, but but we, do. we but we have got to vote. Our yes. frustrations yes. Uh, are not personal. We're going to vote. We are going to vote because it is necessary. It's necessary. There's a lot more at stake than. Verma getting elected. It's a lot more at stake than O'Brien getting elected. It's bigger than the slate. It's bigger than the individual. This is about the labor movement and how are we either going to survive or are we going to live. I'm, I, I don't want to just survive. We pay too much money per capita tax to just survive. We pay too much money in union dues to just survive. We work too hard to just survive. We need to live. The we one, need to live. The 1% globally control about 60% of the world's wealth, mm -hmm. okay? So when you're asking for certain things and you're demanding certain things, 
right? It's not a favor, you know? Don't think that these people... No, you're all those things because, mm -hmm. again, as they said through this whole pandemic, you are a hero. The world can't function without you. And what you have to do now is to vote. There are two things to me that being a teamster are important. The first thing is taking the job action. And yeah. the most important thing is voting. Because you vote on a contract, you can't get to a job action without voting. There you go. There so you go. so that's secondary to voting. The most important thing you can do as a team, so your voice is to vote. Yes. Right? I mean, the... the right? Yes. The most important thing when people join the union is yes. to have a voice right. at the workplace. Right. That's the number one thing you have right. is a voice. That's why you collectively bargain. Because you want to use that voice... At the table, that's, use that that's, voice. That's what it means. Collective guess, right, bargain. Right. We all come together as a collective. There you go. And bargain as a unit in what we want from an employer. Right. Right. We have a CBA, a collective bargaining agreement. We hear that. So it's very important. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and again, I, I I commend everybody that's running. <laughs> Listen, my heart goes out to them. Much respect. Because yeah. the stuff you see, man, this is just. It's eye opening from from my end. I see a lot that I wish I didn't ever see, mm -hmm. but that's not going to deter me from voting. And I tell a lot of people because I, I get hit a lot, especially walking through the buildings. Hooker, this person did this, that person did that, and Anna, and I tell them, listen, I get it, I understand, but the message cannot be about them. It has to be about fighting the employer, winning against the employer, standing up in your community, getting getting what you need. At your workplace, no matter if it's if it's a um, uh, uh, case paper, or or UPS, or or um, uh, cast of metals, or all these places around here, you know, Picachi Brothers, all these different places, man. We have to send a message to all of them, to all of them. It is very, very, very important that we vote. No matter who you vote for, we can we can find fault in every candidate that's running. No one is perfect. You know, you can put a however you want to do it. You can find fault with this person, that person. There's you point a finger at this person, you got about five, six fingers pointing back at you. So explain to us how you go about voting again for people. All right, you so think. when you get your ballot in the mail, you yeah. get your ballot in the mail, you're gonna open it up like you said, mm -hmm. and you're gonna have two slates running, one on the left, one on the right. The slate on the left is um, Steve Verma, Ronald Herrera, Power Slate. Power slate. Then running on the right, Sean O'Brien, Fred Zuckerman, the I the slate. slate. Right? What you're <clears> going <throat> to do, depending on your, your region, you're going to have different uh, regional vice presidents. Right? And so if you say, hey, listen, however you want to vote, if you want to vote slate, there is an oval next to each of the candidates name and there's a oval on the top of the slate name so if you open up your ballot you're going to have an oval to the left hand side of the power slate you go to the right hand side of your ballot you're going to have an oval to the left hand side of the eye slate if you say hey man listen i'm voting for a slate you fill mm -hmm. that oval in don't fill out both ovals or whatever because the slate hard. vote takes precedence over any individual vote Let's say, well, man, listen, I like this person on this slate. I like, I like, I like Bernadette Kelly. I like Gene Corey. Well, they're on two different slates, but you can vote for both. You just got to make sure that you follow the guidelines. And the guidelines are on the directions. You can only pick, I believe it's like seven mm -hmm. VPs at large. Right. And depending on your region, there's a number that you can pick. If, you, if in the East region, you only pick up the three vice presidents for the Eastern region. Um, if you're in the West, I believe it's four. If you're in the Central, I believe it's three. And in the South, I believe it is two. Follow the directions. Uh, it's, 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 however you, it's however you want to vote. Um, if you plan on mixing it up, just be careful that you follow the guidelines. You know, you can only pick a certain amount of VPs at large. Circle the VPs at large, the trustees, the three trustees, too. So... You, you got to pay attention. And if you're in one of these locals where you have a, a, um, a local election, you got to be really, really careful. And I'm going to tell you why. Most times, the local election and the international election, if, you, if, you, if you're having both at the same time, 
they're going to be going on around the same time. So you may mix up your ballots. Because I remember we had that done in 2016. You had some people that sent their international ballot to the local election. And some sent their local election ballot to the international election. Be very careful. So for an example, 767 in Texas has a local election as well as the international election going on. So what they're probably doing is telling their people, hey, listen, make sure you separate both ballots, one for the local, one for the international. Make sure that you vote. Don't mix match. Don't put the wrong ballot in the wrong thing, and then it becomes a big, big issue. Because if the international election goes to the, the local election, then it's, it's, it's not going to count. It's not going to count. We need every vote in this election, every single one of them. Every one of them. And right now, again, there's 96,000 votes. Two weeks in, four weeks left. We got to get those numbers up, man. We got to. We got to. We got to. And hopefully moving forward, um, there is a Constitution amendment that every international election moving forward is done electronically. The teams have got to change the culture in, in, just, in just the smallest ways. Electronic voting. That's even though it's small, it's big. It's big because I, I guarantee if it was electronic, mm -hmm. you would probably see about fifty thousand more people voting right now. Right. You know, I, I I can I can say that. But again, <laughs> this is what we got. This is the system that we got, and we gotta vote. We have got to vote. Please vote. I'm I'm gonna be honest. At first, I didn't want to do this radio program that we've been doing the past couple of weeks because mm -hmm. I, I i felt like how some of the members felt and i was just this how I, but why do you feel that way just explain to me. you've been here 22 years mm -hmm. you've been around a long long time right highly respected person very very knowledgeable person mm -hmm. now and you're saying that you even you felt yeah i was gonna vote I, right but, but this has been informative in the program especially talking to different people all over the country has been very informative right but i see now that this was important no matter the number we we gotten because there are people who when i go back to the hub or i go back to work after the show are asking me questions right they want to know what's going on how we voting and who we're voting because we're not all born into this my first couple of years I really didn't participate in the union like that. Because I didn't know, you know, you, you come in, you're working part-time, you have other interests. But then when you get to see the value and why it's important to vote and participate, you know. I'm, I, and I don't talk down to people or I don't feel like I'm better than anybody else because they don't know. A lot of you guys are informed. But then you talk down to some of the members or you feel like, why doesn't this guy know this? Or why doesn't this guy wear this? Some people just don't have all the knowledge that you have. <laughs> you have to give them the chance to learn from you. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're informed about things going on, then you have an obligation to tell other members, hey, this is what's going on. I know you don't know. I know you've only been here a year or two, but this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And now, some of our people here at UPS, I'm talking to the UPS team, says, y'all just became full-time. It took you 20 years, 16 years, 15 years, right? This is your chance to correct that process for people behind you, right? And it shouldn't take you four years to, <laughs> to progress the top rate either. This is your chance to vote on that. I'm not saying we're going to be able to correct everything. And change everything in one contract cycle. But this is why all of that is important. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like you said, you've been here a long time. Mm -hmm. And you had, like you said, you was going to vote. But you could understand the frustration. Yeah, because of, I'm frustrated. You're frustrated. Well, oh, yeah. We both look at you. You said electronic voting. This should have been done electronic. Yeah, like this is this was. is a very frustrating yeah. process. Right, absolutely. And then when you talk to people who are knowledgeable right. and who say, I'm not going to vote because 
A, B, C, and D because this mm -hmm. person, that person. I, and listen, I get it. And, that, and that's the, I understand. That's a message that I want to get out there today. Is I get your frustration. You're upset. I'm frustrated. I'm upset. Right. right. I'm I'm totally in agreement with a lot of the things. Our members are frustrated. Absolutely. Listen, this candidate. Did Rightfully A, so. B, C, D, and E, Rightfully and it cost so. us all it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this I'm, candidate over here did A, B, C, D, and E, and it cost us all. They're absolutely right. They are right. They are absolutely right. But at, but you being right is not going to stop the, com the the company from being wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yes. We have to absolutely. stop them. We we have to. There's so many issues we can point out for this candidate did this and this candidate did that, and you and you're right. You're, you're absolutely right. The biggest thing now for the UPS side is, well, this candidate was for the 2018 contract. Well, in 2013, the candidate was for that one too. You can't, you can't have it both ways. So what we got to do is, okay, you're right. The candidate did do that. Both sides. What are we going to do to make sure we send a message to the employer? What are we going to do? Team care, you're right, man. Ha, you're right. 22-4, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are we going to do to fight the company? How are we going to do it? Watching the debates, I had a conversation with someone when yesterday after the hearing. Hook, I watched the debates. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm more confused now than I was before watching the debates. I didn't get none of my questions a answered, and a lot of it was because they didn't have the questions coming from real life teamsters. You got them from panelists and 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 and, and magazine people, and people are like, man, I'm I'm more confused now, and I really don't know who to vote for, because this person said this person did that, which is true, but this person said it, which is also true, but my 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 questions, my concerns were not answered. They weren't answered. What do I do? I got the ballot in front of me. Number one, I don't know none of them. I watched the debate. They're not even talking to me. The people on the panel don't even come from the, the jobs I come from. So I'm voting for people who I don't know. I listen to my co-workers. My co-workers don't like neither one of them. I listen to the debates, and they're not answering none of my concerns. What do we do, Hooker? What do I do? You're the leader of 623. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? This is what you do. Something that I, I, I read yesterday. Um... I know a lot of people have issues with Colin Powell. Uh, he he, Me, yeah, right, right. He he did some crazy stuff too. Yeah. Um, but it's something that he said and that I read yesterday, and I and I agree. You dig up all the information you can. You dig up all the information you can, and then you you trust your instincts. That's what I'm asking everybody. Everybody who's saying I don't know these guys. This candidate did this. This candidate did that. Okay, dig up everything you can find on each candidate. Dig up everything and then go with your instincts. Don't go with what I'm saying, Abe is saying, social media is saying. Because if you go to social media, dude, you, you'll find out that what I find out about social media is good for a lot of things. But it's also very, very detrimental to what, what I think the teams need to do. And you got to be very, very careful on who and what people are saying. That's what I'm telling you. Dig up all the information you can. Don't trust nothing no one says. Dig up everything you can and then trust your instincts. I'm telling you, that's the best way to do this. Because after talking to our members here over the last couple of weeks, dude, there's a lot of frustrations. Every classification, part-time, full-time, driver, I mean, a loader, uh, whatever the case, they, they have not forgotten. They have not forgotten 2013. They have not forgotten 2018. And it's frustrating. I got a guy, I got a whole lot of members who went full-time, full-time in 2017 and 2018. And they will not get top rate until later this, well, later this year, or some of them just got full-time or top rate, and some of them won't get it until next year. And that bothers them. Like you said, I've been working, I've been humping, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I've been doing this, I've been doing that. And yet, I gotta wait four years. It's a lot of problems, man. It's a lot, a lot of problems. Please, I beg everybody, 
dig dig your dig up your own information do your own research please please hey hector i, I see that and we are taking them we we're, we're marching toward that promised land man trust me we we're, we're in a lot better situation than we were two years ago um so we're, we're moving in the right the, the, and we always will move in the right direction regardless of if it's the power slate that wins regardless if it's the I slate wins six two three will always always move in the right direction always you can i can guarantee that we will always move in the right direction it, regardless of who wins this election six two three will be fine we will be fine because of the culture that we are creating here um and that's that, that's just my two cents about that um listen I, I hope everybody votes the message has to be sent to the employer has to be sent to the employer if not all of us is in trouble. The isolate is in trouble. The power slate is in trouble. Hector, you in trouble. I'm in trouble. Abe, you in trouble. Um, everybody's in trouble if the members don't vote. Um, it is just, it's just that, it's just that simple. It's, it's just that simple. I don't know how many times we can go over it. The message has to be: How are we going to win against against the employer? Against how? How do we win? Good question. You start by voting. Yes. <laughs> That's the first thing you do. And as I said earlier, not voting is a vote. Yes. Not participating is a vote. We all like to complain about this. Yeah. Complain about that. Right? But when you get the opportunity to do something, then you say, oh, I'm not going to participate. Right. Okay. There are guys out there that love sports, and they can tell you, they can run off information about who's the fourth stringer on this and that team, or when Dallas won the last championship, right. and that stuff. Right. Yeah, but when you ask them stuff that right. pertains to their right. job and how they provide for their family, they're confused. Yeah. They're at a loss. Yeah. So at some point, you have to take personal accountability. You have to be accountable to yourself and to your family to do what's right for you all. Selfish in that instance. Yeah. You know, you have to be selfish about your own family. Because yeah. this voting thing is more important than sports. It's more important than the last book you read. Because ultimately, those things are good. You can have a hobby. You can fish. You can fly an airplane. All of that is good. But how you provide for your family is by you coming to work. And on this particular job, and as a teamster, you have the right to vote on the people who are going to negotiate your next contract, which determines your pension, mm -hmm. determines your pay, determine your work rules, all of that. That's why you vote, because you're voting for yourself and for your family. You want to determine who's going to be the people to negotiate for you. Now, if you don't like them, you get another chance to vote after a couple of years. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's true. Yeah. Nothing's perfect. Nothing. You can say, I voted for these guys. They didn't represent me the way I wanted to. Right. Well, the good thing for that is you get a chance now to vote for new representation. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. So we all, all are unhappy. We all are vexed yes. about what happened <laughs> in the past. Yeah. yeah. It's the past. Yeah. We all can't do much are. about that now. Yeah. Take your vexation. Take your frustration out and vote. There you go. Put it on the ballot. Put it on the ballot. Yeah. You're upset about how the contracts were forced to, through two different times. What years were they again? Hmm? What years were those? What the uh, contracts were? Man, twenty thirteen and twenty eighteen. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every yeah. five years. Yeah. And you know what? We voted. I know you're, you're out there saying, "Abe, I did vote last time," and they pushed the contract through anyway. And what years did they do that again? <laughs> 2013 and 20, oh, okay. gotcha. 2018. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we know that. We voted. And they trumped our vote with rules and stuff. But what did we do after that? You remember? You voted to add amendments into the Constitution. There you go. So that that doesn't happen, happen again. again. Right. You had to vote for that. There you go. 
You, you know that, to right? Vote for that. Yeah, you had to vote Absolutely. and say, "Yo, you can't just push a contract through." Absolutely. Right. That the key is you got to. We vote. voted for that. Right. We Absolutely. Said, yeah, there were people who were upset and said, "We're gonna do something about this." There you go. And right. You got you got to vote, man. Yeah. So if we vote. didn't vote, that stipulation would still be in there. Yep. Absolutely. So sixty-three members, real real quick. This Saturday, eleven o'clock a.m. Um, we need you guys to come on out to our meeting. Um, there's a lot of issues. The theme of this meeting is going to be pay issues. That the, the UPS has this new work week system. A lot of our members have had to put grievances in to get paid, to get paid correctly. Uh, they've been paying a lot of money, but you shouldn't have to wait another week, two days to get Three paid. Weeks. Three Maybe weeks. Even a month. You, sh you shouldn't have to wait. To get uh, even though check. even though you get the grievance penalty and all that, that's all fine and good. But we, we they got to correct the problem. A lot of our members have been filing grievances, but I notice a lot of our members want to work it out and give our member uh, give the company chances to fix it. They don't fix it. They come to us. They're frustrated. How can they do this to me? I've been waiting for a month. Listen, you got to let us know right from the back when these um, uh, checks are late, so we can put the paperwork in, so you can start getting penalty on top of your pay. And we'll talk about this on Saturday's meeting at 11 o'clock. We also have a, um, a group coming to talk about disability. A lot, of, a lot of people have issues with team care, some things that we found out that uh, are eye-opening about team care uh, when it comes to disability and insurance and stuff like that. So instead of complaining about it, we went out, got some people who's going to come in and talk to our members about what they can do to better per prepare themselves if they're injured or you know all kinds of things so the team care people will be here on november's meeting that's november the 13th along with retirement we're going to be talking about that a lot of our people getting ready to retire some mm. people may just want to you know how to start saving for retirement that meeting is also in november but this meeting on saturday we're going to be focused on getting prepared for peak season because you guys know you're going to be working all these hours Check going to be jacked up, hooker. How do we resolve that? How do we be pro proactive about fixing that? We're going to talk about that. We're going to show you how the grievance is to file to make sure that you guys get paid. All right, please. That's Saturday at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock for our shop stewards. All right, 4369 Richmond Street. Please, please come on down. Whatever question. Whatever concern, please come down. Uh, a lot of people like to get behind the keyboard and talk. Come up to the microphone and let's talk about it. That's why we have these meetings. Uh, don't, don't let Facebook, you know, make you look like a fool. Come down to the union meeting and let's talk about it. You know, please, please do that. Like I said, social media is good. But it also can be detrimental to what we're trying to build in the labor movement. All right, because again, the companies are always watching, always watching. Um, I had a hearing uh, earlier, and the company they 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 watch. They, they even let it out. You know, they they watching this thing. I mean, you, oh, they watching us. They they watching. Listening they closely. listening. They watch. Oh. They watch. And it's important to them. Yeah, be absolutely. They watching to see the numbers. And you know what one of the managers said? He said, the manager said, y'all got problems. No. Oh, what That's, problems? What problems do we he's have? He's talking about the vote. He's looking at it. Oh, he's wow. looking. He said, you guys don't even vote. <laughs> this is what the managers. So that's why, man, I don't go back and forth with anybody online, man, because the managers are watching. Yes. And so I'm very, very careful. I say what I need to say, and I'm out of there. Yeah. I, I let other people argue, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to argue. Because the managers... The they UPS, say we, they, they watch it. They say we don't even vote. They, they, that's what he's saying. Oh man, that's terrible. And now, I'm, and as a leader, I'm sitting there. I want to go back and forth with him, mm -hmm. but then I look at it. Ninety-six thousand people voted. Out of I can't argue with it. Out of one point five. They watch everything that we do. They watch social media. They see how we tear each other down. They see how we're trying to build this person up, build this person up. And they're like, man, we got everything we want from both of them. Man, we don't care. So. And that's why it is important, man. We got to vote. So say that again. You're, you're telling me. Yes. 
that the managers are watching his numbers. They watch. They watch everything, man. And and they're laughing about it. Laughing, saying, telling you that you guys don't even vote. We got problems. That's what he told me. He said, "Man, y'all got problems." Wow. And this is a division manager. That's this right. ain't this ain't one of the guys. Yeah. This is a guy who's making the, the decisions. Yes. On a big block of buildings, big block of employees, a big block of mm -hmm. other managers under under him. Hooker. We see it. You guys ain't voting. We watch what's going on on social media. Uh -huh. And it came out again. It came wow. out again yesterday. Wow. That's bad. Our members, our members, they talk, man, and they and I'm and and they, the managers, they they taking notes. Yeah. They are, right, yeah, okay. Oh, y'all yeah, plan on fighting us? Y'all plan on doing that? Y'all plan on striking? <laughs> okay. But again, we have got to turn this thing around. We got to turn this thing around. The managers, management are watching. They think we are jokes. Have they, to. They do. Have to. They watch. One us. out of fifteen. Only, you only get a one out of fifteen vote. And we got to turn that around, man. How many people are in the local here? About over a little over forty six hundred, so almost, almost five thousand people. Yeah. How many people on a, on a regular basis vote in the local election? And our last election. local election, I think we had about nine hundred and ninety two so people. So almost at that one out of five. One out of five. And our last delegate election. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we had about 442. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, one thing I found out about delegate elections, a lot of people don't vote mm -hmm. in them. But I, but we didn't do, um, we didn't promote it either. Okay. We didn't promote it. You know what I mean? But, we didn't promote but it. But for years now, it's been about one out of five people voting here yeah. in, in the local. Right? Yeah. And management is watching it. They watching, they, man. They know we don't vote. They know we don't participate. What are we participating for? So, if, as far as you see, I, I, I express myself. Listen, we, we are participating. What, what does this vote, if we vote, what does it do? This, How does it benefit you as a Teamster when you vote? That's what so, let's go beyond the Teamsters. Okay. As a labor movement, the working class, the middle class, we are voting to save that, progress that, protect that. That's what we vote. This is bigger than... Anybody running is bigger than you and I. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than the slaves. This is much larger than that. I don't want to put us in a box. This is not about the IB. This is not just about the IBT election. Okay. Okay. This is not just about the 22 fours. Okay. This is not just about the team care or the four year progression. This is okay. not just about UPS. Okay. This is about how a bus driver can make sure she is she or he is safe. In her workplace, mm. this is about a uh, a cannery person mm -hmm. making sure they have a livable wage. Mm. This is about a warehouseman or a warehouse woman being able to provide a sustainable income for her community. Mm. This is what this is about. This is bigger than O'Brien and Verma and Hooker and Hamilton and, and Cersei and 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 King and Kelly, Abe and Hooker. It's bigger than that. Right? This is this is life changing, life altering, but we have to we have to vote. We have to vote. No disrespect to anybody running man, but we have got to vote. This is very, very big. If I if I got a a large union like the teamsters are, I think we probably in the top five of membership. Top five, I believe. And we're in every sector, public, private. Teamsters go everywhere. We in hospitals, nurses, police, yeah. warehouse, yeah. trucking, yeah. logistics. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're in every healthcare. We we're in everything. If we don't have a strong showing in the, the union where we are in every branch of labor, every branch of sustainable uh, life, mm -hmm. if we don't show up, then what are we doing? What are we doing? And we have to send that message. We got to send it. And, and this is another thing. We got to send a message to a, the non-union competitors that, that work in these areas. That are not organized. Amazon, the Walmart, the Targets. All those people. All those, all those places. We have got to. We have got to. I'm telling you, we got to. So this is bigger than the people running. It's bigger than the people talking. It's bigger than Facebook. It's bigger than social media. People got to vote.
Why do you think management is watching? Well, management is watching us to see how how they gonna, how they gonna fight us. Mm. If I know, okay. Great if point. I know, if I have a leader, he got all these great ideas. Mm -hmm. He wants to do all these great things, but in order to get those things passed, he got to have the membership to support him. If I got an organization with about 1.5 million members and only 200,000 vote, what message am I sending? Not only mm -hmm. to the leader, but also to whoever the leader is trying to fight. If I go to Washington, D.C., and I'm in Congress or I'm in, you know, whoever, and I say, hey, listen, we need to make sure that the, 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 the working class gets A, B, C, D, and E. They're going to say, okay, man, you're right, brother. How many people voted? And I, and I go to the mic, hey, man, uh, <laughs> we got about 10, 15% of our members voted. Yeah. So... Did your members know that uh, they need these protections? Yeah. So why did they vote for it? <laughs> Dude, we, we got to vote, man. We got to vote. We got to vote. We got to vote. We have got to vote because if not, we're going to be fighting an uphill battle. And like you said something earlier, and I'm glad you said it, nothing's going to change overnight. No, we're not going to change. It's, 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 it's going to be a work in progress. Yes, absolutely. But the easier... Um, it'll be easier to get there if we have the numbers. When we first started coming in to UPS years ago, did you think that either one of us would be in this position right now that we are? I know I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, this this never crossed my mind. So man. we weren't born into this. No, we was not. No, we were not. This is acquired knowledge. We had to learn this. Yes. Right, as as we go. So I understand the people out there. I understand your frustration. I know you're upset. But you have to channel that energy properly, right? You have an opportunity to vote for people. That's what the international is. Mm -hmm. Who are going to negotiate your next contracts. Real quick, Mr. Hey, Mr. Hayes, I'm glad you're watching. Give me a call, man, because you are up for a full-time job. Um, I sent you a message yesterday. I don't have your phone number, but I'm glad you're watching. Um, call me later on. Uh, 267 Two three five one five eight eight is two jobs that you up for. Um, your seniority, congratulations! If you take one of the jobs, that's a full time job. Um, again, give me a call two six seven two three five one five eight eight. Um, call me or probably because uh, I got another meeting at twelve thirty. Uh, call me around one thirty two o'clock, and we can go over what's going on. All right, thanks, brother. You want to take a break now? I'll wait till I'll wait till 11 o'clock. Right. 11 o'clock. Okay. So, this is important because we're talking about all of our next, all of our next contract. These people have to work on and then negotiate. So, we have to do what's right. Not voting is a vote. Not participating is a vote. And right? who do they help when they do that? Oh, they help the company, obviously. Say it again? They help the company. There you go. You help the company. Whether You can rationalize it how you want to, right? But if we don't participate and we don't get these numbers up, we're helping the company. They'll, they'll say, well, your members are not serious. So we can't take you guys seriously. It's the facts. You know that. We all know that. If we had a contract here and... The contract said we're going to reduce wages by half a percent. You said, oh, I'm not going to vote for it. I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to participate. Then you're voting on that. If there's certain things you want in the next contract, you're voting on that right now. That's what you're voting for. Right. Right? It's obvious. Right, absolutely. Because whoever wins is going to be negotiating. Within uh, a year. The largest collective bargaining agreement. Within a year. One year they have to get the right. the, the, the committee together to go in and, and, and with UPS and negotiate. Yeah, contract. this this and other and other locals too. Right. No, no, your, your contracts will be coming up. Yeah, under right. the next next group of people right. who will go in the office. Yeah, I mean whatever your contract is, whenever it's up, mm -hmm. sooner or later you're going to be under this leadership um, to negotiate it. Whether it is a uh, well, the national. Mm -hmm. um, your your white paper or local contracts will, will still be 
uh, managed by your local. But if the local needs help, they're going to reach out to the international. And whoever's in the office will be able to assist them um, on that uh, contract. So it's, it's, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, I'm hoping by the end of man, Abe, it next week. Yeah, I'm next hoping week. by next week's show. Yeah, well, next week's show. We got about three hundred thousand. I hope so. I'm hoping. I'm hoping so, man. I hope so. If I'm, not, I'm man, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping for two hundred thousand. But I'm, I'm, I'm no, 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 no. I'll so, go with three hundred. We gotta get three hundred thousand. I'm, I'm right. hoping we got even more than yeah. that. And if you got in your ballot, please, please, fill it out before the week is out and send it off. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. No. Don't put off. Please you know, don't. don't say I'm gonna get it. On, I'm gonna do it on Monday. No. No, something can go wrong with something you right and then and right. then you can't get that and then you pushing yes. it back you know you got to call them and then you have to wait three to five I've, business I've talk, days I've to talked, get the next ballot yeah no I've, don't do that oh no don't do that <laughs> i spoke to a lot of members man here yeah i got my ballot man i just haven't had it's a on chance the table. Yeah. yeah i haven't had a chance i, said, I haven't man, gotten to the post office right yet. come on i said come on brother sis get that ballot in the mail please well hook it man i don't like this huh man listen i i got you I understand. I, I I share your frustrations, but we got to vote. It's not about them. It's about you, your family. How can we win against the employer? That's what it's about. Everybody said, well, I still got time. No. No, you don't, we don't no, have no time. No, you don't have time. We're running no. out of time. No. This, is, this should no... be sent off this, yes. this weekend. In fact, when the show's over, you should be thinking about filling out your ballot and sending your ballot off. Yes. Please. Please. Please, please send your ballot in, man. Don't don't let the dog play with it and bite it all up. Don't don't you know the dog ate your homework. Yeah, don't do that. No. Yeah, please no, don't do that. Don't. Uh we we need <laughs> we need everybody to vote. But I'm gonna keep saying this though. Next time, let's make sure it's done electronically. How how do they go about voting again? For those who, who so, have never done it before. If you're just watching, just listening on the show, yes. We're gonna do this real quick before we go into our break. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get a ballot in the mail. When you open it up. On the left hand side it's gonna have you get envelopes um, in there. Right, you're yeah. gonna have the, the return secret envelope. return envelope, yes. secret envelope, and yes. the ballot. Right. When you get that ballot, open it up. It's gonna have some uh, uh instructions on what to do. Uh, uh if you plan on voting the slate, either slate, you have one slate on the left. Ron uh, what is it? Uh, uh Ron Power Slate. Power Slate, Steve Power Burma, slate. Ron Herrera yeah. Power Slate. Yeah, right. On the right hand side, you're gonna have Sean O'Brien, Fred Zuckerman. Zuckerman. Our slate, slate yeah. right? And then on the on the left hand side of both of those slate names, it's going to mm -hmm. be an oval. Right. It's going to be an oval. Right. And you can you can vote for a slate. Well, Hooker, don't like this guy. I don't like this 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 sister here. I I, I don't like it. I'm going to split my vote. Okay, you can do that too. But you but if you if you pick a slate, the slate vote supersedes all other votes. Right, you gotta make sure that is the case. So, um, there's gonna be going to be some instructions if you plan on doing it that way. There's seven VPs at large you can pick if you want to do it yeah. uh, individual. individual. Yeah, individual. Whatever region you're in. As for an example, I'm in the East Region. We're in the East Region. Yes. We have an opportunity to pick three Eastern Regional Vice Presidents. Mm -hmm. They're going to be on there from both slates. Three trustees mm -hmm. are going to be on there from both slates. So again. It is very, very, very important. You get that ballot, look it. Again, dig for all your information that you can get. And then trust your instincts. Dig for everything and then trust your instincts. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear some people from Pro Eyes, they're gonna tell you this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna hear some people from Pro Power Slate, they're gonna tell you that. But you as an individual, are really going to have to do your own digging and your own research, look through it, and and trust your instincts. Don't take my word for it. Please don't. I'm not perfect. I'm flawed. All of us are. We made some mistakes. So my my recommendation, my opinion is not um, bonding. Um, this is just the way I, I feel. I've done. I've listen. You can go through each slate and find a reason or not to vote for them. Uh, but again, you have to d dig up everything you can and trust your in. That's how I came to my conclusion of who I'm voting for. Okay. I, I, I dug up everything. Okay. Uh, and I went through everything. 
Okay. There's some stuff that made you want to cringe on both sides. Ooh, and, and then you had to really do, I had to do a lot of praying. And I had to ask God for some wisdom. I'm not going to lie, I, I had to do it all. And, uh, you know, going through it, I, I trust my instincts. You know, and that's what that's all I, I can know, tell people to do. I know and you know there are a lot of people who are frustrated. Yes. Right? Yeah. But how can they act on their frustration? Voting. Put it on the ballot. Whatever you're mad about is on that ballot. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that. Whatever you are mad about in this, uh, as being a teamster, it is on that ballot. Well, they did this. Man, it's on there. Mm -hmm. It's on there. You got to vote. You have got to vote. Real quick, guys, we're going to go into a break. Uh, you're listening to South Philadelphia Community Radio, WOOM 92.9 FM, giving you another edition of the 623 Radio Show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take a little break. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Excellent show so far. So far, yep, yep. Got to get people home. All right, thanks, Johnny. I appreciate it, man. And congrats again. Congrats again, man. Congrats again. Make sure you vote. Make sure you vote, brother. That's perfect timing, man. It's almost to the break. Try. Right. So, I'm saying that, uh, you know, I'm glad I did this. Absolutely. <laughs> because members are asking questions. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. All right, good people. We're back. We're back. South Philadelphia Community Radio. Give me you another edition of the 623 Radio Show on WOOM 92.9 FM. So, Abe? Yes, sir. 96,000 people have voted, man. It's a little bit disappointing. but uh, Not even a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm, I'm, I'm more than a little bit. I'm, I'm very... Look, I'm looking at it as the glass is half full. No, I'm looking at it as the employers are winning right now. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, what I'm looking at. It. The winning. employers talk, are winning right now. We and, talked and, about the situation. Um, we we got to stop them from winning. The only way that they stop winning is that the members become more and more involved in that union. Um, again, here at 623, we done did robocalls, mailers, radio shows, yeah. and, and blasting from Monday to Wednesday on the radio right. show about voting. Here, not just 623, but every, every teamster in the area is getting that message about voting. So, <sighs> I, people are frustrated. Yes, they're it. upset. And I think and I think that's a larger issue here that they feel as though if I vote, no matter which way I go, it's not gonna make a difference. It's not gonna make a difference. I hear that I argument. Voted last time in twenty thirteen. Right. Voted last time in twenty eighteen. And all this stuff. Yeah. And nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change. And that's what they feel is now. They're yeah, up to this point they've been right. <laughs> they've been right. Right. And when you had the same people Right. How can you feel otherwise? On the, I mean, just by looking at it, how can you feel? 
Now listen, somebody, whoever win, they may get in there, man, and, and just really do the job. And that's what I'm praying and I'm hoping that they do, whoever it is. But when you look at it from the from a, a member's point of view, if I have the same guy running, like for an example, man, if you go back for the last three contracts, it's been the same people, combination of the same people mm -hmm. negotiating our contracts mm -hmm. for the last 15 years. So for the last 15 years, then what 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 are we going to do and people look at that I, I, we, we got to get our people to it's frustrating because you because you can agree Absolutely. with their frustrations you Absolutely. can see it Absolutely. because we ourselves have experienced that. Absolutely. Absolutely, and without so, a doubt. No one's so, gonna get here in line. Right. Yeah, and so that's and so that's why we try to tell them, listen, yeah. I've been there. Yes. I'm with you right yes. now. Yes. Yes. But I'm still voting. Yes. But we, why? Why are you still voting? Dude, man? we, we gotta win against the employers, man. Why are you still voting? Yo? We gotta win against the employers, brother. Not just the employers, but for the non union employers. Because they watching too. Yeah. When you when you have so, a, a big union like the Teamsters, yeah. every, that's in every industry. Yes. People are gonna watch. And let's, and let's see who's voting. We're brothers. Yes. We don't agree on everything. No, we don't. We fight about things. Yes, right? absolutely. And once the election's over, we're going to have to support whoever, whoever wins. A right? Absolutely. But the important thing is <coughs> what they need, the next people in charge, and they need to know that the membership is behind them. That's the key. And that we're silently behind them. You know? If we had numbers. So before, it was about 200,000 people that voted in the last election. For the international. And if we double that or triple that, that sends a message. Yes. That's what you're doing. You want to send a message to the employers that this time around, we're not going to be taking advantage of during the pandemic. You're not going to go have us go work through a whole pandemic without having time off our family and not providing a pandemic bonus, right? Taking 15, 16 years to become full time. We, we don't want that, right? So that's what you're voting for. Yeah. All right, Abe, I'm, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. We we got to... And again, uh, if you have voted, and this is a message for the people who have voted. I need yeah, you yeah, guys do me a favor. It's an important message. If you have voted, talk to at least five people. At least. At five least five people. people yeah. Five to ten people. And then encourage them to vote. Yeah. Tell and them... Then, Tell them why you voted. Yeah, encourage those encourage other five them to people vote. to talk to another five right, to ten right. people. Right, let's, right. Let's keep it going. Listen, tell them, listen, I understand you're frustrated. I'm frustrated too, but we got to vote. The conversation I had with the Oregon Avenue, Oregon Avenue driver yesterday, he said, Hooker, I didn't vote. I didn't like Biden. I didn't like Trump, but I voted. Same thing here. You may not like Verma. You may not like O'Brien, yeah, but you got to vote yeah. because it's not, it's not just about them. It's about fighting the employer, sending a message to them, not just the union employers, but the non-union employers as well. Again, teams are very, very big. I think we're probably in the top five of unions when it comes to membership. And we're in every, every industry. And if we don't vote like we are in every industry, then those employers in every industry are not going to take us seriously. You said earlier that management was washed. Man, management. Listen, I had, I had, a, I was in a hearing. Yes, right. And uh, after the hearing. It pulls you aside. They, 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 they weren't even aside. Oh, we were man. just talking. Listen, oh, man. this this is how they know. They just <laughs> say, hey, man, you know, the teachers got problems. We do. We do. Well, no one's going to deny it. And you yeah. guys not even vote. And this is the division manager who, mm -hmm. who's watching, who's yeah. listening, who's on Facebook watching. Tear, we tearing each other down. They watching that. <laughs> hey, man, we ain't worried about these people. <laughs> I had somebody tell me the other day. Wow. Yesterday, after the hearing, another hearing I was in. He said, man, Hooker, I watched the debates and a lot of my issues. They watched the debate. Yeah, they watched it. They watched now, this is one of our members watching the debate. He said, listen. Oh, God, that was the man. Not, yeah. But you know they watching. Yeah, too. they watched the debates. They watching too. Yeah, too. Yeah. But one of our members said, hey, listen, Hooker, I watched the debates and none of my concerns were met. Mm -hmm. I don't know none of these people on the ballot. I don't know none of these people on the ballot. I'm looking. I don't know none of them. I heard some things about both of them that I don't like. So I'm I'm, look, I'm watching the debate and, dude, none of my questions were answered. None of my concerns were met. You know, I got people on the panel who are not teams just asking these questions, man. 
What about my questions? What about my concerns? What's, like, what's happening? What's going on? He said, don't, and, and this is what he said. He said, if we can't get our own house in order, yeah. how are we going to go out and organize Amazon? How are yeah. we going to organize the unorganizable? Yeah. How are we going to do that? Yeah. He made a valid point, man. But again, we still got to vote. We still got to send that message because if not, we always going to be getting crumbs, man. Always going to be getting crumbs. How how we as team, teams just get crumbs when we when we produce all the wealth, but we getting crumbs. Labor is entitled to all it produces. That's a good point. So how we how we keep getting this getting this? How we keep how does keep happening? People out there should not depend on Hooker vote. No, Abe vote. Abe's gonna vote for me. He knows more. This is your chance to learn about things. And then once you make that decision, you go out there and vote. Don't depend on Hooker. Please don't. Don't depend on A. Not about voting. Your voice <laughs> is just as strong, means yes, just as much as Hooker or A. You know what? Same. We're all the same. We talk about equity a lot and, and equal mm -hmm. access. Mm -hmm. This is one of those times yes. where every vote Matters. Matters. Counts and, the same. And it's there you go. Right. No matter if you are a woman, right. you are male, yes. you're black, right. white, right. LGBTQ. This is point. Yeah, this is a good um, point. If Keep you, going. If, you, if, point. you if you're in a big city, right. small city, out in the suburbs. If you, right, suburbs. Right. If you, it, 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 it doesn't matter. Right. Your vote has equal weight as my vote. Hooker, you can't say Hooker is a powerful person. And, no. And it seems. Abe is a very influential person. No, that doesn't matter. No. You, you are the influential right. people, person and people in the union because you have the same amount of votes as I have. Yes. Both have Sa one. Same power. <laughs> right. Same equity. The same all amount of, of votes. It's equal. Right. One, of, all one equal. of the very few times in the teams is where everything is equal. Everything is equal. Is that, and that's the Both vote. the same. Yeah. Right. And that's important. Yeah. Very your, important. Your vote matters. It does. You have to understand it that. It matters more than you know. And when you don't use mm -hmm. it, it matters more than you than if you know if you don't use it as well. No. And people really gotta use it. Listen, I'm I'm one of the ones that says that um vote. Um I've never I've never bashed anyone for their, their choice of, of vote. Um I always say just vote, man. I'm just glad you're voting. Um, people may feel otherwise, man. You know, you vote for this person, you vote. Listen, I don't care. Just vote, man. Please. Just vote. This is one of those elections where uh, I think, and people can may disagree, and I'm pretty sure they will, but I think it's more important in the numbers than the person. What do you mean by that? Because whoever wins, yeah. and this is just me. If you look at and this is just and this is myopic, this is very myopic. Mm -hmm. This is from a UPS standpoint. Mm -hmm. If you go back and you look at the last fifteen years of contract, you'll see a lot of those people on negotiating committee, joint council people, right. you know the national negotiating this. You know these guys are big, big guys mm -hmm. who's been there for fifteen years or more, and they're negotiating. Some of them been, you know, twenty thirteen, twenty eighteen, whatever, whatever the case may be, but. Uh, in the company, if I'm the company, I'm not concerned because I've gotten what I want to get from a lot of these individuals running. So in order for me to change my perspective on these individuals that are going to lead lead these members in negotiations, I need to know that the members are going to be there. I need to know that the workforce is going to fight. Up until Up until right now and even now, I don't think the UPS is really worried, man, because, again, they see the numbers. They see who's running for office. They see what's happening. I don't think they're concerned. Because, again, after I talked to the division manager, they told me, said, man, you guys got problems, man. We shut out to them. What do you think he meant by that? What problems do we have? Uh, number one, yeah. the voting. Right. Number two, the, the social the non media non-participation. Non-participation. Right. That's the number yeah, one yeah, thing. Yeah, the non-participation. Yeah. And the way and and they look on social media. Man, they got screenshots. Yeah. They see what goes on. Um, that's yeah. why I'm very very careful in what I say yeah. on social media. Right. I'm very very right. careful, man, because I know that yeah, the, the, the other side is watching. Yes. 
So, man, people, I had some members tell me, man, Hooker, how can you let these guys say all this, man, and you never respond? I said, man, why? My goal is not them. My goal is to make sure the company knows that my 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 focus is always on them. And I, I just don't care. I, I say stuff, and I leave it alone. I leave it alone. I, I just stop. Because I know that if I if I respond a certain way, yeah. if I respond in a negative way, if I yeah. respond in a way that yeah. makes it seem like it's malicious against one of my members, yeah, the company wins automatically. They're gonna take advantage. They're of gonna take it. January eighth, twenty twenty. I never January sixth. No. <laughs> January eighth. What happened on January twenty twenty? Our first ever meeting with Labor as okay. newly elected leaders. Okay. I'll never forget Oregon Avenue. We upstairs. Yeah. A lot of stuff was happening. A lot of stuff was happening on social media as it pertains to 623. Okay. Right? Okay. We go up there. Guess what the head of labor said for this district at the time? Hey, man. What's going on, man? We we see all this stuff, man. Is everything all right? Is this, this thing moving? Mm -hmm. no, no, no. And I know what that was about. Let you guys know, Hooker, you thought you was going to come in here with this plan and you was going to do these changes. Yes. But look what's going on. Yeah. Look what's going on in 623 and the social media. Oh. That's what he was saying. So that's why I'm very, very careful on what I put out there. Because they are watching. They they waiting to see. So if they're watching what we're doing online. They you know every... they're watching how we vote. Listen, I had we had did a show yeah. not long ago. And I said something in the show. It got back to the preload manager. Oh. Like this was like last year. The preload manager tells the labor manager. Hey man, we heard. So yeah, I said that. Dude, they watch. They watch. They watch they watch they watch everything. They watch the votes. They watch how we. Um, you vote for this guy, where you this and you that. You vote for this guy, where you this and you that. Killing each other, man. Killing each other. Killing each other. Killing each other. So it's not about the people running for office. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's way bigger. It's about what? The numbers. The numbers of the members voting to progress, protect, and preserve what we have and to make it better. The labor movement. Not just the Teamsters. All labor. Because when you have a large organization like this in every industry, every employer, you got to be careful because everybody's watching. Everybody is watching, dude. Everybody watching. Everybody's watching, and, and how you conduct yourself internally gives a message out externally about who you really are. We're gonna disagree. We're gonna disagree. But but this is this is why UPS will always have an advantage. Why? You never see them on social media blasting each other. Oh man, tearing each other down. You, you will never see talking it. bad from, about this person. From Carol to May, yes. all the way down to yes. the part-time soup who just got part-time. I haven't seen that yet. I, I mean, and you never will. I years. I just imagine if we if we took that concept. I haven't seen that. Just imagine if if I, I mean, the I'm general sure, president I'm sure they've said some things. But, but you never see it. No, no, I've never seen them. But even as, even as publicly as we do, right? And other. even in inherent, do, do, do I tell you them publicly? No. Oh, okay. but we don't no. agree on everything. We don't agree on everything. Okay. And we're not supposed to. Okay. That's 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 how you grow. That's how you grow. I don't have a problem with people having disagreements. Right. Yeah. I don't even, that's that's I don't, a part of life. Yeah, we're gonna disagree on things. You, go, I'm gonna say I'm gonna vote for this person, and you're gonna say I'm gonna vote for that person, and that's fine. That's acceptable. As a Teamster member, what we have to do is vote. I, I say this. I saw an exchange on social media a few months ago, and it was okay. perfect. Okay. It was perfect. Man, I wish I could sprinkle that on everybody. Um, I forgot the sister name, but I know mm -hmm. she's a business agent in, in uh, Minnesota. And I believe she, she was talking. I believe it, it was some of our guys from Florida. Okay. And they were talking about the election. She's pro Verma. Yeah. They're pro pro um honestly. Ah, yeah, honestly. And dude, it was beautiful. Okay. It was beautiful. Hey, listen, I'm I'm voting for the power yeah, slate. Yeah, I'm, I'm voting for, for the Oslo slate, and this yeah. is why. Listen, you know what they said? I, I'm just glad you're voting. 
That's I'm it. just glad you vote. <laughs> That's what I'm just glad you vote, man. I'm glad I don't agree with your choice. Hey, but sis, I'm glad. Hey, I'm bro, glad I I'm, I don't agree with you, but I'm glad you're voting, mm -hmm. man. And those exchanges, I and this is the thing. I think if we see more of those exchanges, you'll get more participation. You'll get yeah. more people want to be engaged. You know what I mean? And, and I agree with that. I agree with that. That's why I, when people say they're voting for this person, mm -hmm. okay, good. I, shake it. Yeah. I'm glad you're voting, man. Glad you vote. I'm glad you're voting. I'm, I'm glad you're voting, brother. We, we're not going to agree on Would this. Would you vote for me? Would I vote for you? Yeah. If he was running? <laughs> What you running on? What you running for? <laughs> Tell me what you running for. It was a joke. Oh, it all depends what you running for, I gave, man. I can't run for office. I don't have to <laughs> for office. I wasn't offered a spot on the power slide. <laughs> <I wasn't offered. laughs> oh, my God. Boy, you kill me with that. What? You kill me with that. Man, I, I heard it, too, man. You heard I, that, I too? Heard it. I, oh. But look, I, this, this, this is what I, I heard all kind of. First, yes. first, I heard that the power slate off of me yeah. run. Yes. Then I heard that I'm mad. I'm mad at the Osley. Yes. For not offering Offer you a slot. Uh, I heard that too. Were you mad at the Osley for not offering you a slot? No one ever offered me oh, anything. Okay. Um, I, but I'm not mad at anybody for not offering me. Okay. okay. Right. Um, I heard so much stuff, man, and I just and I never address it. Because yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to. Well, feel. I asked you a few times. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, but but you, you and I, that's how yeah. made you we, yeah, we yeah. talk. Yeah. You know. But yeah, I, I'm not you sure the Osley did not. I'm I'm one thousand percent sure. You just missed the call when he called. No, no, I didn't uh, miss anybody call. <laughs> no, I didn't miss anybody call. I'm glad and no one asked, man, because I would have okay. to, I would say no anyway. You would have said no. Yeah, do you dude, I don't like I was late. I don't like the politics of what they had to offer you at that spot. You said no. no. Dude, they don't want to offer me anything. Oh, uh, <laughs> and if they would have, I would have said no to either okay. or. Okay. That's not for me, man. I don't like the politics of this job. And because I see what they're going through on, on both sides, yeah. man. You know, I see it, man. I don't listen. It's, it's bad enough fighting an employer like UPS. Mm -hmm. Then you got to deal. The key. That, right, that's I'm glad you said that. Because right. Say that again. You know, right? say that again so people understand. That's yeah, it's, it's, we seem to forget the overarching thing that we're doing here. It's not about Verma. It's not. It's not about us. It's about the employers. It's about the employers. And winning against yes, them. Yes, please. You may believe yes. your candidate is in the best position yeah, to fight. Yeah, and that's yeah, fine. That's, that's good. That's right. That's We're right. not going to agree on everything. Right. You mm -hmm. might be for us. I might be for Verma. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. Mm -hmm. But that's not what this is about. No. No. How can we win against in the employer? Mm -hmm. No matter who's in office. Because that's what it's going to come down to. Yes. Okay. O'Brien, you win. November the 15th. Count the ballots, Mr. O'Brien win. Congratulations. God bless you. We love you, man. May heaven smile upon you. All right, let's go. How we how are we gonna win against the uh, employer? Mr. Verma, November 15th, you win. God yes. bless you. We love yes. you. Yes. May heaven smile upon you. Uh, you, you and your family. Yeah, absolutely. Whoever whoever, 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 whoever it is. Win, you Dude, listen, yeah, I, I, I've yeah, always right. said that. Because what the, the key here is to go win against the company. Thank you. That's the key. That's um it. and that's just the way it is with me. Um, I, I just don't care about, I just don't care about all, all this. Oh, well, I get it. I understand it. Mm -hmm. But again, after talking to these, the, 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 the managers are watching, man. Yeah. They watching. Yeah. When my man said, y'all got problems. I knew exactly what he meant. I, 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 I knew what he meant. I knew what he meant. I knew that. Mm. You know what I mean? So. We we gotta we gotta get out of again, but you that's why UPS like again they have an advantage when it comes to that. Carol tour me all the way down to the part time suit all on mm -hmm. the same page. Mm -hmm. They're on the same page. From whoever the, gen the next general pre general president will be, all the way down to the member who just gained seniority. We got we gotta we gotta be on the same page. We gotta be on the same page, man. That's that's if we want to win, you know. That's if we want to win. So we got about ten minutes, ten minutes left. Mm -hmm. Get some closing remarks. It's important for everybody to understand that this isn't a fight between teams of brothers and sisters, right? This is not uh, about Oz. This is not about power slate. No, this is about us winning against the employer. When you vote for the international, the international are the people, the guys, guys and gals 
who are going to negotiate your next contract. Okay? That's who you're voting for. This is the local level. This is people when you see Rich, see Clarence, that's your local. The international, the people in D.C. that we put in there for five years or so. Right. And in that, in that time, most of our contracts will come up within the five years. Mm -hmm. Different contracts that they work on. So it's important to vote because we're voting for people who are going to have a say-so in your livelihood, in your pension, your health care, right? And even how you send your children to school because this is what you do. Most of us, most of the people that work here or work for the Teamsters, this is their only job. Mm -hmm. And if it's their only job, then you should be committed to understanding the things that impact your job. Right? You can't let Abe determine mm -mm. your next contract. Mm -hmm. I know you don't want to do that. Look at me. Yeah. You're, you're <laughs> like, like, man, look at this guy, man. He's going to mess things up. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't let Rich. No, please don't. Don't depend on Rich. Don't, don't say, mm -mm. Rich knows a lot. He's smart. He's going to determine my next contract and how I provide for my family. No, when you vote, that's what you do. You determine how you're going to provide for your family, you and your family. Be selfish about it. Be selfish about it yourself and go out there and vote. Hey, that's, that's it right there, man. I agree. And in closing, guys, listen, we got 96,000 people voted so far. If you have voted, if you have voted already, please talk to anywhere between five and to ten, ten people, people yes. and explain to them the importance of voting. And encourage them to talk please to five do. to ten people. Shout out to a couple of shop stewards, uh, 623 Tony Oliver. Mm -hmm. Eddie, Eddie Brooks actually came in on his vacation at the PCM um, to talk about the importance of voting. Tony Oliver actually, after the PCM, before the drivers went to their trucks, talked about voting and shout out to them and i encourage every shop steward every shop steward um not you don't have to be in ups but whatever where you have a meeting mm -hmm. whatever you, you know your members on the shop mm -hmm. encourage them to vote please encourage them to vote it is important essential yes essential you essential work yes the most this essential is, thing you th can this do. is it right here so again please tell everybody to vote and let's, and let's work on coming together now and not wait till after the election over. That's one of the craziest things I've ever heard, where after the election, we're going to have to start working together. No, let's work together now. Listen, your guy may win, your guy may lose. But guess what? We're still teams. So the employers, they don't care if they win or lose. They just want to dominate the worker. If the worker dominate. don't show up, dominate. we all going to get dominated again. Dominated again. So, again, we have got to start working together now. Please vote. Uh, it, it's, just, it's just that simple. Please vote. Uh, you know, I get it. Politics are and by nature divisive. But as Teamsters, we're not Democrat or Republicans. Mm -hmm. Our enemy, no matter if you're UPS, freight, a nurse, a poli uh, uh, whatever, police, officer. We're police, firefighter. Uh, we, we, right. We, yeah. got, we got Teamsters in every, every, every craft everywhere. Mm -hmm. Your enemy is the same. For an example, Dr. Cooper... She's a principal, local 502. Okay. She's, she's not educated. Right. She's yeah. not she's not lifting any boxes. No. She's not in a nurse. But guess but guess what her enemy is? The same as mine. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, they just they just got a contract. She had a fight for it. No matter the your enemy, man. No, no matter the, the listen, we all the same. All of us. If you're a worker, we got the same enemy. It, it's just that simple. It's not, it's not, it's not the general president. It's not the. It's not none of these guys. Listen, no. I have. I got some frustrations with a lot of people. We all frustrated, right? But I, I respect them. And whatever the fight is at against the company, I'm gonna raise my hand and say, "Yo, six two three gonna be there." I don't care who it is. I, I, I don't care who it is. And that's the mindset that I have. I'm not, you know, politics is gonna be politics. Part of my job. I, I you know, I do. I do have an obligation to it. But my most important responsibility. Is to make sure that we fight against the company. That is the during, most important. During this time, this time period, during mm -hmm. this pandemic, it showed who the essential workers in America were and are. Right? So, you have to understand, this is your chance. This is your first chance during this pandemic mm -hmm. to send a message to employers. 
Right. And if you think about it, this is another reason to vote. This is a, a another another important reason to vote. Whenever there's a crisis, the pandemic, who 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 do they call on? The workers. Yeah. Joe Biden had a uh, a meeting with a lot of these top labor guys. Right. About seven day, twenty four seven operation. Twenty four seven. Yes. Who do they call on? They're calling us. The workers the again. Clear up. And save the country. America again. Yes. Well, we want to make sure little Johnny and, and, and Elizabeth get their, get their Christmas. Not only yeah. that, but get the essential. Not only is the just Christmas, but right. medicine. The medicine. Medical supplies. Right. They call on equipment. us again. Heavy equipment. Let's send them a message. Fuel. Can you imagine? Yes. yes. This winter mm. with a supply chain situation, if the essential workers, you, Teamsters, don't deliver fuel. To people. Guess we'll what happens? It. They freeze up. Yes. This You're is, important. Right. This and what we, we do is important. And we have to vote like we're important. We have to vote like we're important. If they can come to us mm -hmm. when the country is all in shambles and they need help, then we should be able to go to them when we need help. But the only way we can do that is by voting. Please vote. Remember, if you voted, reach out to five or ten people. Tell them to vote. Tell them why you voted. Tell them why you voted. Tell them why you voted. A lot of people ask questions. Hooker, man, I don't know. I don't know none of these people. Um, what do you suggest? Hey, listen, I can't tell you how to vote, but this is this is why I'm voting. This is not an endorsement from the e-board. This is just Richard E. Hooker Jr. telling you why I'm voting the way I'm voting. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. But you have to make that decision. Like I said earlier, dig up all the information you can, like I did, and then make a uh make a choice trust your instincts you know don't let nobody tell you your instincts are wrong they're yours you pay you 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 was born with them and then and then the dues you pay every month every week you pay for that voice you pay for that vote so please vote all right good people we gonna get out of here perfect time we going and we going to move on tell everybody to vote can we have a moment of silence for some of our brothers? Yes, members absolutely. Who, who, who absolutely. lost family members. Absolutely, we 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 had a uh, beautiful ceremony, a balloon releasing ceremony for our brother Shane earlier right. um, on Sunday. Right. Um, it was good, and uh, we, listen, pray for Chris, the family. I believe Chris Salina lost his stepfather. So. Wow. So yeah, we let's go and have a moment of silence before we close up shop. All right. All right, good people. Thank you for that moment of silence. We're going to get out of here. God bless you. We love you. Um, we'll be back next week. If the Lord say so, me and Abe. Yes, we and, will. Uh, Definitely. Uh, again, please vote, guys. 96,000. Um, at least by next Wednesday. 200,000. He won 200,000. I won 400,000. <laughs> I, I, we got to send a strong message, yes, man. Yes, we do. I'm not trying to. Yes, we do. I don't want to throw a jab. I want to throw our knockout punch. All right, that's what we want. All right, we good. We see you guys this Saturday, 63 members, 11 o'clock a.m. A lot of stuff to talk about, pay issues, got some disability stuff that we're going to be talking about. Again, very, very important. Tell, let's talk about What's it. What's the address? 4369 Richmond Street, right next to the Wawa. 11 o'clock. We pushed it back an hour so everybody can come. Oh, it's 11. 11 o'clock. Please come out. We need you. We want to hear from you. And I know we're in the buildings every day, but we can't we can't touch everybody the way that we would like to. Come out. Let's talk about it. Don't let don't let Facebook be your source of of communication about your issues. All right. Please come on out. That's right. Thanks, Joan. The women's caucus meeting will be di immediately, directly. Oh. Right after that meeting, because we got something going on for breast cancer and Halloween okay. that we want to give to our members. We're going to take the uh, Women's Caucus off the job, have them talk about breast cancer, give some candy out, man. We, we really we really want to make this thing happen, man. We want to get our members more engaged and involved um, in these things. And next year, we're going to be working on another committee uh, for our younger members. All right, we got some guys coming in, man, a lot of young members. Get them more engaged and involved in this thing. We putting that together. Again, we gotta continue to move this thing forward. God bless you. We love you. Love you. Peace out. Like the Fortis.
He got a show. I think it's every other Sunday. Uh, Union Power Radio, please download the Mixer app. Very, very good show. Very, very good man up there. Vinny Peron, God bless him, man. Love his fight and passion. I wish, I wish he was, <laughs> I wish, I wish he was, you know, I'll just say that. Um, but again, um, God bless that brother. Uh, what else we got? Uh, the Roswell Show. Roswell Show. Um, down from 728. And something else. Um, the Gemini Tow Truck Tow Truck Show. Another show. Watch that one. Teamster Media Hub on Facebook. You can watch uh, a community community of different shows from different points of view, all walks of life, different areas, different supplements. We're trying to do whatever we can to get more people involved. We we and that's the way I think show, social media should be used is to educate, to empower, to engage. And I get it, you know, I, I get all of the the negativity stuff. I get all that. Much love. Uh, but again, I think this is the one thing that we got to take from UPS. One thing and one thing only. What's that? All of them guys are united. Oh, from man, the man. CEO yeah. all the way down to yeah. the, the the person who just became yep. a part time yep. suit. Yep. They are all united. If we yep. ever get to that point, yep. labor will win. Labor will win. All right, guys, we love you. Mm -hmm. Peace out. See you next week.